Hi everybody, um, it's Victoria, or Sheba Michelle, whichever my bloggers know me as Sheba. So, um, the past couple of days I've been thrifting, um, looking for a couple of things just while I'm out here in New York for Thanksgiving. Um, thrifting basically took over shopping for me. Like, I used to be in love with retail stores, I still am like H&M and Forever 21, but before I even go to those places, I always try to go to a thrift store. Um, let me see. Up here, I've been to like probably three different thrift stores. Um, I found some name brand stuff. I found some vintage stuff. I found some antique things um, that I wouldn't be able to either find in my area or you can't find in the mall. Because the malls basically reproduce um, things that have been out and they sometimes just bring out old stuff. So, um, I decided to give the vintage shops and thrift stores up here a shot. And when I tell you I found some things that make you want to think twice before you hit a mall, just think twice because you're going to find some really good stuff. Okay, so the first thing, I'm just going to go randomly. Some of the stuff actually my grandmother gave to me. Um, she collects furs, she collects scarves, everything, hats. So, she also gave me a couple of things while I've been here. Um, so the first thing I found was a top similar you probably find in H&M or Forever 21. It's see-through, and it's basically a tribal print top. I can't really, I'm trying to show you guys, but this is the print of the top. And it has padding on it. This shirt cost me $3.98. It's by Shapely. Um... It's a bigger shirt because I like my shirts bigger. Um, that way I leave a couple buttons open, but when I tuck them into like some high-waisted leggings or shorts, whatever, they look really cute. Um, this is actually my grandmother's. Um, it is a cheetah print scarf. I could use this just to, you know, to wrap around. Um, like my This actually is a shirt, but sometimes I take scarves and I wrap them around my head as well. Um... Oh, this is a beret my grandmother gave to me. A lady actually in the thrift stop store came up to me and she was like, oh my God, where'd you get this from? Did you make it? I was like, no, um, it's vintage basically. It's my grandmother's. She had it for a while and she just gave it to me. She knows how I am about these things. Um, I also have from my grandmother a sweater. This is something that's really in right now. The Aztec prints, the Navajo prints are big right now and um this is an oversized sweater this is actually from the 80s so um my grandmother gave this to me and i would probably wear it with like uggs and leggings if, for like a shopping day i also got this shirt from a thrift store it's 100 percent silk let me show you that 100 percent silk um it is a size 14 but i like i said i like my shirts oversized it has padding on the shoulders, so it gives you a squared out shoulder look, if that's what you like. Thrift stores are very good at having, um, like, really antique shirts, like, shirts you think, like, Forever 21 would have. The thrift stores actually have surplus. I'm actually going to go back um, on Black Friday because the whole store is going to be 50% off. This shirt also cost me $3.98. Um... This is a scarf my grandmother gave me. It's cheetah print fur, and basically you just wear it like that, or you can tie it through. I can't see it. <laughs> okay, right here, you just tie it through or whatever, like that. And you wear it like that on a jacket. And she gave me a longer one as well. Now, today I found probably this is one of my first major finds i found in a thrift store um in a vintage shop actually i found a red and tan dooney and burke bag this bag cost me six dollars <laughs> i kind of was like oh my god dooney and burke like you can't find that anywhere and um for me to find a dooney and burke bag it's all leather um has gold bottoms for me to find that it was it was a big fine for me it was actually $6.98 I can't rip the tag off but see 
Um, so this is like a long strap bag. Probably will wear it um, on a regular day if I'm going around or whatever. Um, this is my grandmother's as well. This is a beret, but it is fur, and it will keep your head warm. I will put it on my head, but I got this on. And this is a cover-up. It's pretty big, but you put your arms through it here. And you could wear it with a belt and some leggings and some Uggs, whatever you do, winter boots. And um, just be on your way. Um, the last thing is, this isn't thrifted. These are jeans that I got for $4.99 at Macy's um, by Material Girl. They were on the sale rack. And I made them into shorts. I know you've seen pictures of them, but I've also, um, I just took the shorts and cut them and left the backs long. And I accidentally put this in the wash because you're supposed to hand wash like shredded clothes because they can shred a lot. But I really do like the way they came out. You see how the front is shredded and then the back is shredded. These are my booty shorts because they make my butt really big. <laughs> Um, but I love them. See Material Girl shorts. Um, they were plain shorts. I bleached them myself. And I just ran them through the watch. So they have like a faded type look on them. Um, so that's... If you want to know how to make those pants, it's on my blog at theglittervein.tumblr.com. I promote it all the time on my Twitter. Um, if you're on my blog, um, I hope you just pay attention to my finds because I'm going to probably make more videos like this. Um, so thanks for sh letting me share. Oh, by the way, shout out to Privilege Society um, in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, it's a clothing line by my friend Omari, and um, I was at the photo shoot. And this is just the shirt I got. I don't know if they knew, but I took the shirt and just cut it and just made it into like a little, you know, a 80s style shirt. Um, so that's about it. Oh, somebody had a question about jewelry, like nose jewelry. A good place for nose jewelry would be, well, I go to school, like, in Ohio, so I would say Spencer's or Hot Topic. They have really good jewelry. That's where I go for my nose rings. My septum is hid right now, but, like, for balls for your tongue ring and stuff like that, um, belly button ring, you can go and find stuff there. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Oh, check me out at YesVYes <laughs> um, on Twitter. I'll post it underneath the video. Um, if you're watching this from Twitter, hey, um, follow me. <laughs> um, but um, thanks for watching. Bye.